What is up guys, Johnny here, I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today we talk about the hot topic, loot percentage on the shoulders. I released a video on my YouTube channel about a week ago, this one right here. I released this video, I wanted to release ASAP because I had new information and there was a lot of confusion out there on the Facebook group, on the Reddit group, mostly about the color of the perks. Okay, on their last mad stream, here's the info. It's a bug when they're gonna fix it. The purple icon would be on the high percentage and the green icons will have the lower percentage and blue will be in, in the middle. They say the color of the perks just means the rarity of the perks, right? But now I got more info today and I will show you guys some screenshots of my emails I exchanged with Anna. All right, so let's read that mail together and try to squeeze as much information as we can. We got three screenshots to look at today. And it's going to change a bit of the information that was on my previous video. And I wanted to update you guys ASAP on that one. So here we go. It says, hey, Johnny, my huge apologies for slow replies. Also for miscommunication about the rarity drop rate. And that you guys want to hear that. I watched your video and I realized that my last mes message to you wasn't correct. Feel free to show in a video if needed. Basically, loot percentage affect both how often you get loot and quality of the loot now it makes a huge difference because on my last video it says or it said loot percentage only affect the uh, quantity or how often the enemies will drop loot but nothing affects the quality of the loot so the loot percentage was not gonna affect if you get more epics for example now they say the opposite the quality of loot is affected and I will give you an example with made up numbers to illustrate better. Guys, made up numbers, you know they will never reveal the numbers, the drop rates for legendaries or epic, okay? It is a secret and there's nothing we can do about that. They were not gonna reveal that. So, here's an example with made up numbers. Okay, so let's say you have no perk equip, no loot percentage. So, let's say the enemies have a 10% chance to drop something. And when they drop something, let's say they have a 5% chance to drop an epic, okay? This is made up numbers. If you have extra 20% loot per, okay? First of all, you guys know 20%, there's no way we're gonna get that. The highest I've seen on shoulders is 9%. And there's a 5% extra you can get on the skill trees, okay? 1% per level. But let's say you have 20% loot extra on your shoulders. The 10% drop chance will go to 12, okay? It's not plus 20%. It's plus 20% on the actual percentage. So if an enemy has 10% chance to drop something, 20% of 10 is 2. It's going to give you an extra 2, okay? And then let's say the 5% chance of dropping an epic plus 20% is not going to go to 25. It's not plus 20% total. It's plus 20% on the 5%. And 20% of 5 is just 1%. So the 5% will go from 5 to 6% of dropping an epic. So I'm going to guess it affects the chance of getting legendaries. But let's say that... I mean, guys, you would think it's less than 1%, right? So if the legendaries have a 1% drop rate, which is probably lower... Think about 9% of 1, it's not going to double the drop rates on legendaries, but it's still a little bit better, it still increased the chance of dropping epics, at least in their example, and I'm believing it affects everything at the same time. So that is the one information that was not correct on my previous video. Loot will drop more often, and it can drop a little bit of a better loot. Now, uh, let's read the rest. It's gonna confirm what they said on their live stream. Uh, it just shows the rarity of the perk. So a purple perk is rarer than a blue perk. It does not affect how often you get items of a specific color. Okay, that is confirmed. Uh, that is clear. Uh, it works as described above. It's gonna affect the percentage of drop rates and the quality of the drop a little bit. All right. Next up, because you know I'm not done, right? I ask more questions. I want to clarify some stuff. So check out the, the next screenshot with my questions. 
So I say, okay, but can you just clarify something? In your example, we're talking about enemies in missions, right? They're gonna drop uh, sometimes holos and sometimes gear, right? I wanna know how does it affect arena farming and dungeon farming? Is loot percentage gonna affect the Voltaic Fist boss dropping more epics or more legendaries? Is it gonna get you more uh, epics or legendaries in the chest at the end of the arena? Guys, here's the answer. All right. The answer, guys, those questions that you asked to clarify are game designers want to keep unrevealed. They want players to find out for themselves. So that's about it. There's not much I can add to that. But information out there, what we know and what we know for sure, the colors of the loot has nothing to do with the colors of the drop, right? It's just a number and it's gonna be corrected soon. Purple loot perk will be higher number and uh, the green loot perk will have the lower number. Next, it is gonna affect, if you have extra 9% loot total, the percentage of epic drops will be 9% higher than it was. Okay, not 9% more, but 9% of what it was more. Now my biggest concern guys is when they fix it, are my numbers gonna get smaller or am I gonna get a different color? Because right now I got blue and green, but I got another piece of shoulders I gotta show you. I got these, it's four and two for six total, but I got blue and purple. So are they gonna increase these numbers or are they gonna lower my other numbers or are they gonna keep my other numbers and just change the colors? It is very hard to get rid of these shoulders right now because I don't know how they intend to fix it. So I guess I'm just gonna hold on to these and right now I'm playing my 9% perk. And guys, I gotta tell you, after my last video, when they said loot percentage does not increase the quality of the loot, I stopped playing these shoulders and I started playing these uh, crit shoulders because they have 14% crit. So I dropped 9% loot to 4% loot and in my head it had no difference but I played all week with that and it seemed that I only dropped crap loot. All week I was getting blues and greens and blues and greens in Blade Dancer and Voltaic Fist. I barely seen any purple and when I got that information yesterday I just played, I switched the shoulders at the start of the stream. I went back to the 9% loot. And I don't know if it's just totally random or I just got really lucky, but yesterday on stream guys, and you will confirm if you watch the stream, I seem to drop uh, like one purple every run almost compared to what I got all week with no purple, no purple, one purple, no purple, no purple. Yesterday was purple, purple almost every run. So I don't know what to believe anymore. Of course, it's supposed to have a small increase in epics right so that's it for real guys i really hope uh this video helped and i guess i have to apologize to you guys i said it in my previous video i'm not a speculation guy i don't like to speculate i don't like to send information if i'm not sure and at that time guys last week when i released my video it was the information that i had and i released it knowing that it was correct information most of it was correct there was a small detail and it's not so small now that we know it is important to me when i say something that it is the correct information because when i if i give false information it's gonna affect my reputation my credibility and the credibility of my channel i want to be the number one source for shadow gun legends i want people to come to my channel when they need to know something. So I'm serious in what I do. I do it, I, I work really hard doing what I do. I wanna give you guys everything that I know and I want the information out there to be correct. I want people to spread the right information. So what I give you guys today is everything that I know for now. You guys saw the emails. So that is it, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like if you did. Subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos. I'll be back soon.